Hello, I'm Ronnie Bringle. I think it's a great day to paint, so let's get started. I decided the best place to start is at the beginning, so I'm going to show you the basics of my painting equipment and supplies. First, we have to have paint and brushes. So I use the Jasonia acrylic paint. It has no sealer and is self-absorbing, so it works very well with my layering techniques. My brushes are made by Scharf, and I use the round Bringle Blender in, t in sizes 2 to 14, the oval Bringle Blender in sizes 2 through 10, and the flat Bringle Blender in sizes 2 through 10. Because of the material used and the way these brushes are cut, they're great for my blending techniques. I also use the Bringle Mop from Scharf and the Series 455 Dresden liner brushes from Scharf. Occasionally I use other specialty brushes, but we'll talk more about that in future videos. I'll put these away. I need a palette on which to blend my paint, and I prefer the disposable type of paper palette. A gray palette works great for mixing colors because the pure white can be distracting when you're looking for specific color mixes. But the gray paper palettes can be a little expensive. You can make your own simply by using a piece of black craft paper, place it under your sheet of palette paper, and you have a gray palette. To keep my paint fresh for an extended time, I use this wet palette. I don't use the palette to blend, just for storage for my paint. To use the palette, you should use three paper towels folded in half, so you have six layers of paper towel. It's important to have the six layers so the palette will stay wet for long periods. You don't have to use the shop towels. Any paper towel will work. But I like the blue color rather than the white because it doesn't interfere with my color analysis. I can also tell if the palette needs more water when the towel turns light blue. To prepare the palette, moisten the towel completely and squeeze out the excess. But don't squeeze it too dry. If you squeezed it harder, you'd still get more water out of it. So leave it a little bit wet, and that'll work better for you. Lay the towel in the tray. You can see I don't like wrinkles. I guess it's because I'm German. Start in the middle and press the towel into the grooves as you pull just a bit from each end. The towel should fit perfectly with nothing hanging over the end to pull air into the palette. Now if you think your palette is too wet, you can use a paper towel or a cloth to blot some of the water off. Place your paint in the palette right next to each other so it has nowhere to go and can't run all over the palette. I usually place my paint in color families, but that isn't critical. Some painters like to organize their paint in cool and warm categories, but then again others just put paint out willy-nilly, and that works too. If the paint begins to dry as you're working, you can spritz it with water from a spray bottle. But when you put your palette away for the day, be sure to add more water to the paper towel with a squeeze bottle. Just put squeeze water all over the paper towel and replace the lid. If you keep your toweling wet, the paint will stay fresh for several weeks. Some painters even place the palette in the refrigerator to help retard the growth of mildew. The palette is made so the lid will remove easily. If you have paint in the palette, you can't tip it up without making a mess anyway, so there's no need to have it snap down tight. The lid is designed to easily be lifted and to let in just a little bit of air so the mildew doesn't grow quite so fast but if it's tight enough to keep the paint fresh. So if you're, going to, if you're not going to use the paint for quite some time, be sure to check the towel and add water with the squeeze bottle if necessary. Now speaking of spritzing, I like to have a little water available on my palette so I don't have to reach into my brush basin. I spritz little drops of water out on my palette with a spray bottle. and We'll talk about that later on. I like to use cotton cloths instead of paper towels to blot my brush. 
They seem to absorb the paint and water better than paper towels. And they're cheaper. You can use the same cloth for several painting days, lay it out at the end of the day, and refold it the next day to use it again. You can wash them if you want to, and they'll come out like this. After a while, I use them for cleaning up messes or for rubbing on a stain. Then I throw them away when they've served their purpose. Now here's a trick I discovered a couple of months ago. I like to use the sponge roller to prep my surfaces because I love that eggshell finish. But if you're painting inside a frame or an inset, sometimes you have to use a brush to get up next to the edge and then you get brush marks instead of eggshell. So I would use my sponge roller whenever I can. I don't know if you can see my lines on there, but I do have a little couple of little lines that form a square. Then I would use a brush and I would paint right up next to that edge or that frame or that line with quite heavy paint. You would probably have a, some uh, tape here so that you could create a nice clean edge. But paint that paint on pretty heavy. Then you're going to use a kitchen sponge moistened with water and you're going to use the flat part of the sponge. Just set it down there and gently tap in that wet paint and it creates a little bit of texture that kind of matches up with the eggshell. Over here where I didn't tap you can see the brush strokes but over here you can see where it blends in with the eggshell finish and doesn't show the brush strokes. Now here's another trick I discovered when I put my dirty sponge in the brush basin to soak. I really love this one. The sponge should be just slightly, slightly wider than the space provided for resting your brushes right in here. You don't want to rest your brushes in there anyway. It's not good for them. The sponge should be slightly shorter than the space this way. Press the sponge down into the water, press it all the way down, and then just leave it there. Now when you wash your brush in the water, you can complete the task on the sponge. You got to get it in there straight. Complete that by rubbing on your sponge and that will take the paint out of the ferrule and it doesn't break the bristles on the brush. So you get a nice clean brush and you don't have to leave all of your paint in your paper towel or on your cloth. The same thing for your palette knife. If you've got a dirty palette knife, you've been mixing paint, you can go and wipe that palette knife on your sponge and then you don't use up all of your paper towels or, or cloths so fast. Then you can just clean that, just add water to it and it'll dissolve and your sponge will stay there in your brush basin. So now here's my painting place. ready to show you some more tips and techniques next time. See you then!